A pleasant good day to our Bishop Alan Mary Shaw, Pastor Mary Mary Shaw, and to everyone listening. I wish you a pleasant good day, good night, wherever you are. I hope you're having a good one, and I greet you in the wonderful and precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Rachel Gadar. Um, I've been a member of the New Bay Church of God since the year 2008, and been attending since it was the New Creation Church of God in the garage. So it's been a long time. <laughs> um, I would like to thank our Bishop for granting me the opportunity to share this testimony. Thank you so much, Bishop. I love you. Um, in the year 2019, I was diagnosed with thyroid cysts that were the size of grapefruits. They were huge. You could feel them on top of my tummy. You could, you could just. It was scary, honestly. Um, the doctor said that there were a high possibility that I would lose both my ovaries and they were just basically telling me to, you know, expect the worst and just there was nothing I could do. But they were wrong because I'm serving a big God and I knew they couldn't scare me. Nobody could scare me. My mom was scared. but. I knew that everything was going to be okay. I had faith in God and I knew that everything would work out perfectly fine. I knew it. I had the faith from day one. And I think that is where God saw favor in me and allowed everything to just work out so perfectly fine. Bishop, thank you for calling that fast. And for everyone who was there believing and interceding for me, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. There is so much to be thankful for. Honestly, the events of that day were mysterious, but God works in mysterious ways, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. The doctor that was supposed to perform my surgery, she couldn't make it, and this young male doctor took over. And I know that probably created some doubts in some minds because it was like, oh, you know, people would rather a woman to do this surgery, this particular surgery. I, I didn't have any doubts in my mind. Everything was still okay with me. And it was this male doctor that stood there for more than four hours, more than four hours, and made sure to save both my ovaries and i have to thank god because it was the hand of god on that doctor on that doctor making sure and telling him that no this young girl this is a young girl 25 years of age and she needs both her ovaries and i thank god so much for doing that for me <sighs> honestly it was just crazy waking up and hearing these things that in church while my surgery was going on pastor was on his knees praying for me and he could have told the audience who was there my dad was there everything that was happening in my surgery step by step oh bishop knew like if he was there now you tell me you don't think that god is real come on that honestly was the one for me that was like mind-blowing all now i have goosebumps because it just shows you how real, 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 real God is. Our God is so real, Chich. Come on. I still get goosebumps talking about this because to this day, it is the most wonderful experience to happen. Yes, it was a surgery, but in this surgery, it gave me the chance to see how God is real in my life. I saw miracles being performed for my mom and my dad my family but it was never so close to home for me because it was never any experience truly to deal with me but for this experience my surgery it was truly truly like a stepping stone for me to deepen my relationship with god and it truly has because i know god is real and i know he can work wonders whoever you are whoever may be listening God can work wonders in your life and he has worked wonders in mine because today I am here with two perfectly working ovaries. In closing, I would like to thank Bishop for just being there for me for every step of the way. From the age of 10 till now, I'm 26 years old, I would like to thank him for being a true man of God. That any time he was called upon, he would be there coming to help in whatever way he could. 
and I would just like to thank him and to continue to encourage him to be the man of God he is in my life and in so many others. Bishop, you are truly blessed and truly loved. Um, I would like to thank everyone for their listening ear. I hope this touches you in some way and I would just like you to, to believe in your heart and to know that God is real and he can do it for me. He can do it for anyone. Thank you.